What we have here is a slightly different drawing from the ones we've been working on, but what you can see there is a single viewport here. So there's our single viewport right there, I'll select it. And as you can see there, it's a standard rectangular viewport with four grips. Now you can rotate your viewport in two ways. You can rotate it using the grips, or you can rotate it using the rotate command in AutoCAD. Now the quickest way to get to the rotate command in AutoCAD with an object selected is to right click on the mouse. The rotate command is here on the shortcut menu because I've already got my viewport selected. So I select rotate like so and it asks me to specify a base point. Using my object snaps I'm going to go for this corner here, this endpoint snap and left click. Now when I click there now you can see with the mouse I can rotate the viewport or I can actually type in a rotation angle. I'm going to do this freehand if I left click there, you can see now that the view within the viewport has not rotated with the viewport itself. So I'm missing part of my green square there. Now wouldn't it be really nice if I could rotate that viewport and I knew that the view in the viewport from the model space would rotate with the viewport. Well let's undo that once. Let's go up to the quick access toolbar and hit undo here and that brings it back to the horizontal placement that we had originally. Now there is a new variable available with AutoCAD 2010. It's called VP Rotate ASOC which basically means Viewport Rotate Associative. And What that means is when you rotate the viewport the view within the viewport will follow. So let's type in that variable using the dynamic input VP rotate, now remember to spell this correctly because it's a long variable name. So that's how you spell it, V-P-R-O-T-A-T-E-A-S-S-O-C V-P rotate ASOC. Press enter and what you'll find now is that the V-P rotate ASOC variable is set to zero in this drawing which means that the view will not follow the viewport. If I change that to one and press enter and now select my viewport. I'll right click again and select rotate on the shortcut menu. Select my base point again exactly as I did before. That endpoint snap there. And now I'll rotate just freehand again like I did before and left click. The view follows the viewport. Isn't that cool? Because now if I double click in here inside my viewport look even the crosshairs follow that rotated view. So I can hold down the wheel mouse now and pan my scaled viewport view within my rotated viewport. Isn't that fantastic? I double click outside the viewport to deactivate and as you can see there VP Rotate ASOC. It's a fantastic new view tool available in AutoCAD 2010.